I did have my 36 week doctor appointment and the doctor did check me for dilation and the baby's position and everything. I just want you to know that <laughs> your voice makes my heart stop. Well hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am 36 weeks pregnant and I want to take you guys through my pregnancy this week. I have my flashcards because there is no way I can remember everything right now. Everything up here is just running together. So this week at 36 weeks, the baby is the size of a papaya and she is around six pounds and 19 inches. I'm having quite a bit of increased pelvic pain, I think because the baby is dropping lower and just heavier. It's very painful, especially at night. Turning over sometimes makes me wanna cry just because my pelvis and my groin area feels like um, it's gonna like fall out. I don't even know how to explain it. It just feels super uncomfortable. It's, it's not super fun. It's probably my least favorite part of pregnancy is like the pelvis pain. The increased pressure just makes me have to go to the bathroom all night long, all day long, and it keeps me up at night. So I am having difficulty with sleeping, having just a lot of insomnia right now. But I did get a good sleep last night. So that's why I have on makeup and I'm ready to do this video. I'm wearing a maternity belt more often. Hang on, let me go get my maternity belt and I'll show you. Okay, so this is my maternity belt. It's called the Matriarch, which I think is such a funny name. And my insurance actually does pay for this, but only for one. So if I have future pregnancies, I have to save this. It's the one and only I get. So it has all these contraptions here and you just undo it. You put this hard part against the small of your back. And then you wrap these things kind of on the bottom of your belly, make it hold up, and then you can tighten it. So just kind of like give some more support. Ooh, it's kind of uncomfortable. I personally, I personally do not like wearing it all the time. I mainly wear it during my walks and just for some added support. It's a little bit too uncomfortable for me to wear it like all the time, but it does take some of that pressure off my pelvis. So that is a very good thing. Speaking of walking, I have increased my walks up to 40 minutes most days of the week. Walking has been something that I have been super consistent with this pregnancy. When I was going through some of like my mental breakdowns with my antibiotics, I was not very good at walking, but for the most part, I've been like very good at being active and walking throughout the whole pregnancy. So that's good. This week, my weight gain has uh, stalled again. My doctor said that that is super normal for the end of pregnancy because your bowels are emptying themselves and you're losing fluid and then you're usually like a little bit more active just preparing for the baby. So a lot of people don't have weight gain the last month and I'm fine with that. I don't need to be gaining more weight than necessary. I'm having an extreme increase of Braxton Hicks just all the time, more than I have ever experienced. Lots of tightening and practicing going on in my uterus. I did have my 36 week doctor appointment and the doctor did check me for dilation and the baby's position and everything and the baby is in the head down position and the dilation is zero. <laughs> so nothing at all is going on in my cervix right now. That's okay though. The Braxton Hicks and contractions that I thought that I was feeling, feeling them and everything but they're just not strong enough yet to really cause dilation. So we'll just see what happens next week at my 37 week appointment. And maybe I will be dilated, maybe I won't. Doesn't really matter. Some people are like zero centimeters dilated and have their baby like later that day. I'm not putting like a lot of stock into it. I just want her to come when she's ready in spontaneous labor, please. My doctor did say that she does usually induce if a woman goes to 41 weeks pregnant. So let's just say a prayer right now that I will not go to 41 weeks pregnant because I would not like an induction. <laughs> I want a natural, spontaneous labor and I really think that I will have that because my mother wanted a natural, spontaneous labor at 39 weeks for all four of her babies. So I'm hopeful. 
Next week, my mother is coming to visit. She is coming next Wednesday and I'm just ecstatic to see her. I haven't seen her in close to a year and she's never seen me pregnant. <laughs> and I just like, I'm really excited to be around a mom. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Um, Cause you know, obviously I have my husband here but I have like no like mommy <laughs> here. And it'll just be nice to have like my mom especially when I'm becoming a mom. So I'm really thankful that she's gonna be here soon. So I wanted to share a few things that have been helping me throughout this past week. One is I've been diluting my water with Limeade. Whenever we go out to eat, I save the cups because I like drinking through a straw and I like these like reusable cups. This is just a water cup from Tropical Smoothie Cafe. And what I do is I make like a pitcher of Limeade and then I fill up limeade like maybe like one fourth of the cup and then i fill the rest with water and that really helps give the water like a fresh taste and helps me down as much water as i possibly can everybody knows that uh, pregnant people need a lot of water and sometimes it's just hard to drink enough i don't want to give myself unnecessary painful braxton hicks contractions because i'm dehydrated you know what i mean so i'm trying to just keep my water intake really high also something that's been really helping me this week is just staying positive in my mindset, uh, having proper boundaries with things that might not be positive in my life. So that means if I'm around like a worry war or somebody who's like just a very anxious, maybe I need to back away from them because anxiety and stress can be normal, but too much of it is just not good for me or the baby. So I've just had to have some boundaries with people who might just stress me out a little bit. Also having boundaries with social media. I noticed that a lot of mom groups or due date groups are full of very, very worried people. I understand that everybody wants to reach out to somebody when they're worried. I don't enjoy like reading all those stories. So I've just had to like be careful with how much negativity I'm reading or uh, fear mongering posts like I'm reading. Something that's helped my mental health a lot is of course the daily walks, but I also put on like worship music and I pray during my walks and make them like prayer walks. <laughs> and this helps me place all my worries, all my concerns into God's hands because ultimately my body just made this baby. It's like a, it's like truly a miracle and I had nothing to do. I had barely anything to do with it and ultimately this child is God's child and he's the one who can pull me through labor, pull me through delivery, and pull me through the rest of this pregnancy. I'm definitely leaning on his strength and not my own. All right, let's waddle into my bedroom so I can show you my belly bump. Okay. All right, so this is my 36 week belly bump. You can see, I think you can kind of see how I've like, I think you can kind of see how I've like dropped a little bit here. So very cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video. If I don't see you guys for the 37 week update, that means that I have probably delivered the baby. <laughs> So please follow me on Instagram because I'll probably post there when the baby comes way before I post on YouTube because YouTube requires a little bit more work than Instagram. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, feel welcome to subscribe and I will see you guys next week for the next video. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, with you, tell me a story, would you tell me it twice?